ladies and gentlemen, it's Blue 4 vs. Green 4 in an all-out brawl over the town of Areno. It's episode 4 of Friday Night Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth episode of Friday Night Fight. I'm Mike One, here with Reasoner from Liberated Gaming. I like that. And we're excited to bring you this match today. We got a great one, and it's a pretty good, pretty good turnout again. 40 players total with a 20v20. We got Blue 4 versus Green 4 fighting over the central town of Orino. As we see both teams emerging from their starting locations, advancing towards that objectives. Before we get this started, I want to take a quick moment to introduce the teams. On Blue 4, we've got Arcom, the 48th Mech, the 2nd CR, Liberated Gaming, Mercy, and NATO Joe. And on Green 4, we have Bravo Company and the 3rd ID. Reasoner, how do you see the start of this game progressing so far? Oh, I think I think my I think it's classic. I think you got Dawn, um, you know, from Mercy uh, and her guys pulling around the side as predicted. You know, those guys love from the past videos if they've been featured. You know, but every time I've played, they love a good flank, and you know they're doing what they do best, which is come around the back and uh, and shoot you know shoot people from behind. Um, always effective. I think I don't know. Uh, we had a discussion about this before at the start, didn't we? we start recording i said maybe that the hill is going to be an advantage for green four not sure you said you, you didn't know so i don't know how it pan out there is quite a lot of masking with the trees and the rocks and stuff so maybe it's not as good an advantage i don't know i think i think it's going to be even i think you know as we can see blue four pushing into town now and give them a bit more cover Still up in the air too early to decide I reckon. definitely and right, right off the bat here we don't really see green four making a push to the top of that top of that hill instead they seem to be moving in a large kind of platoon column formation uh, towards the, the central point of Orino and I think yeah it looks like they're not going to be kind of basing themselves on the top of that hill which I, you know I've come to agree with there's not much cover up there and you actually have pretty good sight lines on that hill from inside the town uh, just to give another insight into what is exactly happening they are fighting over the town of Orino in the center here Whoever holds that town center at the end of 45 minutes will be deemed the victor. Of course, there's other victory conditions, mainly if one side eliminates the other. And if we do reach that 45-minute cap and the point of Reno is uh, pretty much, you know, embattled between the two sides, we will have a time extension and let them battle it out. So I guess, as you said, Reasoner, Blue 4 has reached the town first. They're situated on the edge, and we see the first contact coming from the Overwatch element of Blue 4. I don't know how the hell they're able to see them. That's quite a distance away, but looks That's like they're impressive. able to... Yeah, that was, that was impressive. Looks like they're able to shake up the advancing uh, Green 4 and kind of put them in the cover right off the bat. Yeah, the guys are in the trees. Um, not, I don't know, Green 4, not necessarily a bad position to be in. Yeah, good, good tree and good rock cover. And, you know, yeah, your man your man on the Overwatch there has spotted them from long range. But is he going to be accurate with that fire? Uh, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very long way with that, with that weapon he's using. So does it mean much? Don't think so. I think really what we're going to see, the real tough part now for uh, for Green 4, um, for Independent, is got more shots fired there, um, yeah. is going to be for them to actually get into the town. That's where we're going to see the real engagement, I feel. Maybe we're going to uh, exchange some fire here, though. Oh, that's some accurate that fire coming in. Wow, that's very, impressive. Very close fire than yeah. That. Yeah, that's, I mean, blimey, I will eat my hat, my friend, because I just said that <laughs> I don't think they were going to be effective, and he nearly scalped the man, so, Jesus. Reasoner, what do you feel about the different strategies here? I mean, we have Green 4 sticking together in a fairly large clump. We have uh, uh, Blue 4 deciding to, you know, have that central location inside the town, but have flanking elements as well. What do you feel about the different strategies from the two teams? <laughs> Well, I think it's it's your classic manpower versus your classic um, 
you know your classic strat, isn't it? Uh, green forest sticking together, and when when they find a the contact, when they engage it, they're going to be able to put a lot of fire down in that direction. As I said at the start, classic mercy, classic dawn um, coming all the way around the back. And I, from, from personal experience, I know that that is a very, very, very dangerous position to be in when you are against those players because they are excellent on the flank, definitely excellent at finding people and, and getting them from behind. So. Um, right now, Alpha for me. Uh, so sorry, Alpha Blue Four are you know they, those guys are uh, those guys are in, in good hold of town. They got a flanking force and they got a pinning force. Blue Four for me. Yeah, definitely. I, I'd give Blue Four the advantage at the beginning of the match here. They're the ones pinned down. They're not doing any pinning and they're not on top of the objective. Yeah, yeah. Green Four, Independent got a long way to go, I think. But you know what it's like. These things, you know, one headshot, one good kill. Can completely um, change the flow of the game. The magic if bullet, man. Keep momentum. You know, if Green Four maybe keep momentum here, they could. If they can get a foothold on that back end of the town, then we'll then we'll see some CQC going on. Lots of fire. Lots of fire. Red traces coming. Yeah, Green Four coming positions, up. Though. Yeah, I mean, I haven't um, seen much return fire from uh, from Green Four as well. It's all seemed to be uh, Blue Four firing at the Green Four forces. Yeah, the BC guys there, um, led by Stardust, um, pinned down the rock formation. A pretty pretty good cover, so I don't know if they're going to take any casualties. And now we see returning fire from the BC guys. Um, we got some some more Green Four units pushing up. Fox there, taking taking the helm. Can he get to those buildings? Maybe if he can get to those buildings and they can start working their way in, uh, exchanging fire from cover. Oh, that, I mean, it's some fast attack. They're opening up on each other. Here we go. The ARs are blazing as both sides fire at each other. It's looking to be a good fight right now from the town to the outskirts. Yeah, this is making for some absolutely great footage. So the one thing that we've from Blue Force is that a lot of guys stacked on one building, and, and that's not always a good idea. At the moment, yeah, because the grenades aren't going to reach. If these guys don't sort of spread out when Green Force get closer, Ooh. that could be an issue. There you go, we start seeing some GLs pop in on that building right as you mentioned it. And let's take a quick update on that flanking force, which is still yeah. way on the flank. They're moving way around their positions mercy, there. They'll get there eventually. Mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic, classic mercy. And if they can get all the way behind, what I predict they do, uh, what I predict they do is, you know, come down this tree line to their left or, or go further around and then pop up on the top of that hill. Oh, yeah, that would be um, deadly. And I think that would be a good position for them. And that's probably what Dawn's doing. And, you know, she's got a real head to this sort of thing. And, and uh, I think that will be very effective. It's It's... Yeah, I'm quite surprised Green Four and Stardog. I'm quite surprised they didn't they didn't break off that level as well. Um, that might cost them. You never know. Indeed. As we take a quick lull in the fighting, uh, we're going to quickly introduce what exactly this is. This is a part of Friday Night Fights, a weekly Arma Three player versus player team versus team match that is held via uh, hosted by Bravo Company and held with a bunch of communities participating. Uh, all to have a good time in a player versus player environment. If you want to get your unit participating in Friday Night Fights, be sure to visit bravoco.us slash FNF, or simply visit the description of this video and click that link for more information. Yeah, let me add to that. Um, you know, for Stardog's benefit, you know, coming from me as a leader of, of a fairly large sort of EU-based group, um, if you are a leader of an EU-based, UK-based, whatever group, and you're worried about the time, you know, fire Stardog an email at the email that is down below, or you can find on the website. Explain that you want to play, and he'll put something together. You know, the guys um, at Bravo Company, really, really accommodating, and the more the merrier, you know, these fights are always cool, but the more people, the more stuff that can happen, and it just looks way better with, with way more units on the ground. So if you're watching this and thinking, hey, look, I've got a small unit, you know, even if it's only five to ten guys, even less, come along, or, you know, fire style dog an email, get in contact, and come and play, because it, it is great, and it's one of the smoothest, I, I would say, from experience, it's one of the best and smoothest uh, operating sort of game modes like this because everybody knows exactly what they're doing. They come and play, and it's great. Alpha 2-1 now pushing in for Green 4. Uh, one unit into yeah, the one unit into in town there. now. He's what, getting close, man. He's all alone, though. He's going on a Rambo suicide mission. Yeah, I think he realizes yeah. that he's going to push into a building, kind of hunker himself down for a little bit, wait for his teammates to advance, which they are doing. They've reached that compound that we were talking about earlier. Heavy um, MG fire coming in now from Green 4. Giving Giving Blue for a little bit sort of back there. They're kind of getting a bit of revenge. Oh, yeah. Good suppression down that main road. Not a fun place to be right now if you're Blue 4. No, not at all. 
I still feel that Liz will need to spread their forces now out of this out of this building at the back because one one good GL could could really rock rock them. But as predicted, yet again, absolutely to the to the point. Mercy coming around on the back up on that hill and this is going to be a massive massive issue for green four it really is going to be a tough one because like i've said dawn and a, dawn and a guy especially at sea you know they are so effective at coming behind the enemy and and, and taking you know killing them um, without them being aware um i don't know really interested to see what uh, mercy do now really really interesting. that's right four units moving up on top of that hill way on the green four flank they won't expect it. They're going to have to divert units to deal with it. But I think the big idea here is if uh, that Mercy or the flanking element is able to get a great jump on the on the Green 4 Forest. If they're not, I mean, they're going to be outnumbered. I mean, Blue 4 or Green 4 still has around, you know, 12 guys in that position that can turn on them if they reveal themselves too early. So I think it's the moment of opportunity here at the beginning of this flanking force engagement is going to be the key. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I think... Mercy get a good few kills in, and they weaken the force, weaken the morale, uh, and, and basically um, put Green 4 into a position of distress, then they're going to be effective. But if Green 4, if Green 4 realise what's going on, know that they've been flying, and return fire and get a couple kills on, on this flanking sector, that could completely neutralise them, and then the game is sort of back level playing field. Definitely, we see elements of blue for, or Green 4 starting to move in closer to the town, they're creeping up to their friendly. As they're crawling, <laughs> slithering along that rock wall, getting a position. I think Green 4 is doing pretty well at the moment. If we take a quick look at the numbers, it's still even. Green 4 possibly had a harder push into the town as yeah, they weren't dug definitely. in. And they've done pretty good. They've done pretty, pretty well here under the under the lead of Stardog. So, um, that, at least I believe it's Stardog leading leading Green 4 green side. I, I think, think you're right. Is. I think you're right. Yeah. And I think, again, looking at the numbers on the side here, it looks like... You know, Green 4 is outnumbering Blue 4. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I still think, though, Mercy haven't fired a shot. They're moving into the cover of the rocks. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Even really more Green 4 becoming engaged in that fight through the town. Their flank is being left wide open to be exposed here and exploited. Yeah, we've got I Tooks and... Um, and uh, is his name Valar? Valsar? Valar. Can't see from here. Valar from here. He, they're pulling around the side, and that's a nice move, because that's kind of a nice counter flank. Um, if they can maybe get over there, get on the right side of, of the Blue Fort Town, maybe they can get a good few kills here. I think that's I think that's a good move from those two guys, because it means that they're spreading their forces. As, as you said at the start, they've been doing a lot of platoon movement, and, and maybe that hasn't been beneficial. But now that they're breaking off, maybe we'll see a change in the gameplay. Definitely, definitely, yeah. I mean, those two units are going to see... They're, they're probably aiming towards the Overwatch element for uh, Blue 4 that's been harassing the Green 4 for pretty much the beginning of this game until now. So, I mean, they're, they're on a hunter-kill mission. And let's get an update on to the Blue 4 position as they're slowly creeping up to the rocks behind the... Blue, uh, uh, you know, advancing and unawares independent forces. It's going to be an interesting uh, decision when they decide to engage. I, th I mean, again, you know, I can't, I cannot stress enough when you play, as from personal experience, you know, Dawn's, Dawn's group are, are really, really good, amazing. I mean, the fact that they even know the Green 4 this close to them, they, they, they will have it locked down and they're, they're making sure they do not fire. There's a real oh, possibility on, oh, that they might have been spotted. Right. Yeah, they have been yeah, spotted. Yeah, there we go. Glory That's knows gonna... that there's something behind him. They've readjusted. Oh, yeah, they've, they've been spotted. Them. Oh dear me, I was just singing their praises, but suddenly, suddenly the tides have turned and Elite has got a real nice firing position in that little alleyway there. Um, Look at him! Shots fired now. Advancing, sh Nade shooting out. gun. He, he wasn't able to kill him. Oh, what's that nade gonna do? Short! Ah, too, too short, too short. Uh, he's pushing to the building now. He has got a window on the side of the building. Oh, nice look at that! Look, it seems like the independent forces is kind of enveloping that blue fort position. Yes, look at that! Dawn could be in trouble here. What this a great response. Dawn's reputation. Poop's pushing up now as well. Again, it should be noted that Blue 4 does have a defensive advantage. Elite takes one, one Blue 4 out. Blue nice work from Elite there. Great shooting and really, really good eyes, man. Like, I mean, that call was was crazy. He must have just been checking his, checking his sixth and, and spotted them. But really great work from Elite. For me, MVP at this stage.
you know. Um, he's covered the flank and and he's taken out one guy. He's stopped them in their tracks. Definitely. Very fucking well. Yeah, done, that though. flank had just been. We we're we we're riding on that the whole game about how effective it was going to be. You know, hell, it still might be effective, but they are enveloped and outnumbered now. Well, I don't know. Turn the, I mean, if you look at score, look at poops. The tide has now turned on Dawn and her flanking group, and they are being counterflanked. They are good shots, however. This will be an interesting engagement. Let's take a look at what's happening inside the town as two forces have kind of wedged themselves, uh, you know, in a pretty, pretty solid positions inside two-story buildings on both sides of the actual village here. It's going to be an interesting match. I mean, I think Blue 4 may still be in possession of the actual objective zone. But, I mean, the op oh, are situated and there. Oh, Dawn is about to lose her life, I feel. Oh, yeah, those, no, those no, Infinite no, Forces have flanked oh, right behind her. Two versus one, there she goes. Dawn. They're unlucky, Dawn. It's a two versus three engagement now, Yahtzee. And Yahtzee, Irving. well known for his marksmanship and his, his close quarter fighting. Um, you know, hopefully he can do some work here. Irving's a, a good soldier as well, so... You know, um, they've got two good guys there, but Sklor and Poops really look like they're moving with purpose. You know, they, uh, they're they covering out, and they know that there's more. That's the important part. They know that there's more people here. We're hopping on so, board with Yahtzee to see what he sees. He's looking at Elite. His flank is not covered. Both are kind of looking in the wrong direction. Sklor may have them right here as he's pulling up. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here he we pushes go. around the next corner. Yahtzee's right to the left of Sklor. Oh, and this is very, very close now. Score got eyes on her. Oh, here we go, and Yahtzee is down. Yahtzee. The oh, flank has been defeated. Wow, Reasoner, we did not I expect this. I cannot believe that maneuver from... Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable play from the back end of, uh, um, of Independent there. Uh, fantastic, really, really well done. I mean, they've, they were on the back foot from that engagement on that flank, and they've turned it around completely. So, nice work from Poops and Score and Elite. They are you know, the for me. Oh, everything's getting shot in the back as he's pulling away. It's not looking good for that flanking there force, and they're... Yeah, Irving's down, so they neutralized it. Well, Reasoner, now. we we kind of oh. called a little bit too early there. Oh, I'm done struck. Yeah. I, had, I had absolute faith in, in, you know, as I said, personal experience. Those guys know what they're doing. I, I, I'm, I'm shocked, but, you know, great, great, great footage. Great. You never know what's going to happen. Great gameplay. Yeah, definitely. And I think it just kind of came down to how they were managed to spot those units in the rear. And you know what? I think it, this comes down to what I said at the beginning, uh, before, you know, we actually started this recording in the pregame. There's not much cover on side that mounted. If you look back, you can see guys moving without cover. They were able to spot him and uh, kind of, you know, shift their forces uh, into a very nice envelopment. Creeping in on those uh, blue four flanking force and kind of squeezing them into the, into those rocks and killing them as the, they you know pushed in through their encirclement. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got a very interesting playing field now because we've got the majority of blue four and and independent forces surrounding the town, rightly so. We've got one element of, of independent. Yeah, way flanking. flanking, eh? Yeah, he might so be able to get that that, uh, that blue four element that's running in the open if he just comes over that rise, which he's about to do. Most interesting for me, however, though, is if you zoom in where we've just seen that flanking gauge, Blood Reaper for Blue 4 has actually pushed out of the town towards Elite and Squall's position. And I don't know whether they're going to be expecting that. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, maybe Elite's got eyes on them. I'm not sure. Um, maybe. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for that pause. My game unfortunately crashed. That's the first time that's ever happened. We're back in the game here as we see some close contact inside that village. Both teams are neck and neck right CQB style inside this foliage. Yeah, take a look now. This is real close Blue 4 versus uh, independent engagement. Uh, you've got the Blue 4 guys in the trees by the garbage. Uh, and you've got some independent up in the uh, co covering off. And um, three guys in the one building there. And that is an absolute grenade. You know, that, that is a grenade magnet, really. There's three of them in there. And this is really Ooh, close. Look at game. that. They're so close. Shooting oh. through the window. He gets one. I think they traded. No, they haven't traded. There's three no, inside that building. Come on, get a grenade in there, boys. Oh, Trade shots the exchanged. Again. That window's... Oh, there's the grenade they were looking for. Do is they see it? Oh, <laughs> two down. That's what we were going for. There as well. Nice. Okay, there okay. there goes that, that independent force. I, I uh, think Blue the Blue well. Four Force lost his life in that engagement, but what, did, a, what a shot! What a shot! He took three of them. He took yeah, three he took of three them. them with him. What a what a nice way to go! Work. 
So, how are we doing for numbers? Okay, uh, looks like Green 4 currently hold the majority. Yeah, Green 4 is um, good. What? 4, 7, 11. Blood Reaper, Blood Reaper all the way back here though. Blood Reaper for Blue Four all the way back on the on the edge in a bush, um, and it looks like he did. Oh no, Elite is still alive, so he didn't engage Elite. He's just playing it slow. He might be able to come around the back here and, uh, and go on the flank. Maybe you know do the job that Dawn and Yahtzee failed to do. Um, yeah, what do you maybe, think? maybe. I mean, we're seeing him come from the same direction. I mean, it's just it's just a matter of if they're able to get sight on. I, I am worried that it's not a full team. It's just one guy. I'm not sure exactly what he'll be able to do by himself. He's only got a rifle. Nope, he's got a he's got an MG, so that's that's a little bit more you know an advantage to him. But we're coming up on 25 minutes in this round, and I don't know. I'm not sure who to give it to. I, I would say probably uh, Independent has the advantage. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, we've just lost one man actually. Stardog and uh, Clicky and uh, Bust there have actually moved into the building where we just saw that great grenade engagement. And they've lost a man from um, from another grenade just outside that building. So that building is proving lethal for Green Fort. And they're know, still that's going in there, there, eh? Yeah, look at that. I know, it's a scary place for to be. Yeah, fortunately, Blue Four aren't, aren't too close to them. Now um, they pulled back. It, oh, it's tough to call. Really tough to call with uh, with Blood Reaper on the side there, though. I don't know. I'm interested to see what Valar and his Shots team fired. decides to do. Shots fired. Blood Reaper begins to engage from the back. Oh, Scores there we go. Away. He's shooting. Does he get one? Yeah, score goes down. Score goes Lore down. goes down. Oh, the other one's in the open. Poops is in the open. He gets behind some rock. He's in a bad oh, spot of cover, though. The other man. Poops still good. Wow, that's a good engagement on his part. Poops is open to his flank, though. He's not exactly sure where those shots were coming from. So, you know what? That guy, super effective. Killed two guys in the yeah. rear. Now they got something else to worry about. So, Blue 4 finally managed to get off a good flank and maneuver there. And that's thanks to Blood Reaper alone. As you said, he's one man. So, how effective he was going to be, we, we couldn't call. But... He's, he's, you know, he's done his job. That's two guys out of the game, and and he's still he's still mobile. So, you know, great work from Blood Reaper. Definitely. And you know what? At this point, I'd call it even. Yeah, we've just seen a trade there from Stardog on one Blue Four. Right. Um, so Stardog and another Blue Four down. Um, we've got Clicky and Bus still in the grenade hut. That I'm going to call it. Um, sitting up there nicely. I don't know what's. Up. It's it's five versus seven. Going into the 26th minute of this match, five versus seven. With is, yeah. Independent having the numerical advantage, albeit barely. And I think the Blue Force still has the advantage in terms of holding on to that central objective in Arena. We are forgetting, however, that Green Four do have forces on this flank. Um, they've got one man, Alpha, Alpha One Two, sitting up on that hill. Um, you know, so that's another guy. Um, don't know how effective he's going to be all the way out there, though. Definitely, and he's I think a long Poops, ways Poops away. Poops just went down. Poops just went down from Blood Reaper. So oh, three kills now for Blood Reaper. What a but great flank. Yeah, he did what Yahtzee and the other Merc people failed to do, unfortunately. But now he's under fire. He's spotted. We'll see how he reacts to this. Not much independent units left in the village, though. Two guys inside that death house, that I'm going to call it. And everybody else is uh, pretty much dead. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't believe I cannot believe they're still sitting in the grenade hut, the death house, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to call the it. Death house. Um, I mean, there must be so many. How many corpses are there in there? Oh, there's oh, a the bunch on the oh, outside, no, scattered few. inside and around. <laughs> yeah, it is horrible. Unbelievable. I mean, um, I think Blue Four will probably be currently in control, won't they, of the of the area, because they got in there first. So if they can just hold on, uh, they'll take it. Speaking but, of flanks, Blue Four, here comes yeah, Ixus. Yeah, he's coming in. He's coming in and. Hopefully, you know, uh, Lawson, he's a smart guy. He'll be checking his 360. I say that. Hopefully he does. Um, doesn't make me <laughs> like an idiot, you know. But um, Ixus could do some damage here. Really, really could do some damage. The blue four guys, especially Black. Uh, is it Glock? I'm not sure. And, uh, the guy, there's a guy on the roof. Um, Slack, maybe? How he's got there, I have no idea. But he is out on the Where roof. Is he? <laughs> you know what? I'm not, Oh, he probably hopped through the window there. Did he come through the window? Yeah. No, I didn't I've never actually seen anybody up there. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, good so position. He's, he's they're, got they're looking the wrong way. Yeah. And Ixus is, or Ixus is, Ixus. Um, yeah, he's he's in a nice position here. Really, really great position. I think what's happening now left. is Valar in the back. Oh, he's deciding to pull off. Okay, I think that's a good move. I was going to say that Valar is probably overwatching with his binoculars, kind of guiding Ixus in, but he's not going to be able to have 
very good sight lines for much longer. Valar's got to push in. Getting dark. Yep. Blood Reaper pulling in now on Factor's position, but Factor did know where he previously was. Although he's looking the wrong way at this time, so Blood Reaper may get a kill here. That's right, Bus and Clicky by the Death House are gonna be going to be attacked by... Who is that? I can't uh, exactly see. Morbs. Mo uh, Blood Reaper? No, it's not Blood Reaper. No, no, no. It's, Morbison. Um, yeah, Morbison. Oh, it's going to be close engagement by the Death it's House. Yet again, yet again. This, this house, house, man, I'm telling you, it lives up to its name. He's looking the wrong way, though, he's more. Yeah, so. Clicky's oh, no, he's down. Clicky's Clicky. in between some foliage, too, so he's got to move up. Clicky going to have eyes on? No, oh, I don't think so, man. It's if so you look, there's a lot of other. foliage in front of Clicky. Maybe if you... Here we go! Clicky's oh, got to no. see him. He's got to go. Come on, Clicky. He moves by the foliage, he sees him! There's an engagement shot, and... I cannot believe he's not dead. I cannot believe he's not dead. What? Wow. What? He managed to survive, Morbison. Oh. oh, there he goes. Clucky finishes the job. I think I think he got lucky there. He survived a good a good ten seconds longer than he meant to. We got Definitely. elite for Green Four. Elite for Green Four pushing up on the right hand side now as well. Um, Look where Blood Reaper's at, man. He's right behind the kill house. They are, we've got flank after flank after flank here. This is People, incredible. Yeah, the maneuvers have just been really really good this game. Really enjoyable to see. Lots of maneuvering, that's the best. Oh, while that was happening, Ixus went down. Lufo responded to that. Valar's starting to move up on where Ixus was killed. But Lawson is there protecting the flank. Although he's looking the wrong direction, but there nonetheless. Blood Reaper making a move now towards uh, the kill house. He's um, the death house, if you like. He's pushing in. Um, he's throwing, I think, either a smoke or a nade, I believe. Um, yeah, that's a nade out. So, okay, Factor and Clicky are now going to be aware that they have some contact. That's two oh, nades out. There. Wow. I don't know how they that didn't die there. Stung. Yep. I'm moving it's into White Hot dark, Vision so as just... it's getting darker. Yep. Clicky is turning around. He's got to see him now. Right, shooting in the death house. Oh, he survived. Factor, I don't know how. Factor, see him. Factor. Real close, real close quarters now. Is he going to push in? If he pushes in, it's going to be... The oh, they're shooting at each other. There goes Factor. Wow. Very, very nice Blood job. Reaper Four just taken out. Independent like it's nobody's business. If he comes around this corner, though... Look, he might get him. Look, he's oh, waiting. He oh, here he goes. Oh, oh, man. He out of rounds, though. I think Most he was yeah, out of ammo. Look at that. Blood Didn't Reaper. Magazine. Wow. Five kills for Blood Reaper. Unbelievable. Work. Might be really, really six great. right here. As he comes no, up to the bus. Is oh! Ah, oh, bus gets the him. The reign of the Reaper is over, my friend. Wow, well, great life spent right there. I mean, so we've got elite three v two, three v two. At, oh, you know what? You couldn't ask for a better ending. Look at this. Close quarters is going to be elite versus Tupa, I believe. Throw put, yep. And Throw Kaz the building. versus Valar, with the bus being the wild card here. One an ending. Blimey. Okay, so quick time We've check. 31 minutes in. Kaz and Elite real close to each other now. Almost in the same building. Um, and one building uh, across. The same with... Um, oh, he's pushing up if he decides to move into that door. He's looking in the wrong direction. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, he must hear him walking around. Yeah. He must hear him walking Those around. Those steps. Oh, man. He knows he's looking at that doorway. He knows. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Within one meter of each other, this is what Armor 3 PvP is all about. The unawares, yeah. the fog of war, and gunmanship at the end here. He flip over to Troy. He's over the door! Um, grenade! Good move! Let's see if it gets him. Ooh. Missed no, that grenade no, no. going in the doorway. Pushing here he in, goes, pushing he's pushing in. in. Oh, yeah! Oh, he's closed the door. Oh, good Real decision! Good. You know what? Off, yeah. yeah. I'm not even sure if he knows that there's somebody in there. Maybe. Okay, he's coming back now. Coming back. Open the door. Oh! <laughs> Oh, catches him! What was he doing? I think he was I patching think he was himself up. Or bandaging. Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. Green Great four. timing for Elite. Tropa one. Tropa for LG. Come Here on, my, we my son. go. They're within one meter, of, two meters, three meters of each other. Vela's going in the wrong direction. It's a matter of you know what? He's in a pretty good position actually. Watching that courtyard. Only one or two entrances in there. But again, if Green Four is able to move into that objective zone. They have the numerical uh, ma majority, meaning that they'll be able to capture Point Arena. And if they do that, they've got the victory. Well, they, yeah, they need to hold it, obviously, until the end of the time. There's, there's still um, players in the objective. But yeah, as you say, um, 
if they get a, they get a foothold now, they clutch it. Taropa is, I mean, he's gonna have to do some work. You he's know, got to, a, to push around a mountain those, ahead of areas. Him. Three players that have shown themselves to have pretty good killing prowess in this game, all of them getting kills so far. It's it's it's, it's going to be a stalemate, and I you know I'm willing to over here. Obviously, I can't. I wish I could. The LG I wish I could guy, talk to right? Him. But I'm yeah, I'm saying, come on, Taropa. What would you to say? Move. What would you say if you're in his position now, as his commander, as the general of Liberated Gaming? Yes, like, okay, so what, what, are we imagining that I have an earpiece to him and I'm oh, yeah. some form of UAV? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Okay, I'm saying, Taropa, you got to push out, my man. You got to push out because you're going to lose the objective. There's no point sitting up there and doing nothing. You know, we're not playing a hardcore game mode. It's not going to go on for much longer. You know, you've got to risk it. You know, um, he's got to gamble. He's got to toss the coin. Um, so yeah, he, he needs to push out. I know Taropa. You know, I've played with him for a long time. Um, he does. He, he can be very, very good in, in CQC. Um, as as we saw in the in, in the last game we recorded, he did get a nice CQC kill. Um, it's pretty good at pretty good accuracy. He's a CS:GO player, so that does mean he's pretty good at in close quarter engagements. Um, but I, he's outnumbered here. He's really outnumbered, and he's not in a great spot. I definitely agree. I mean, he's in. A, I think he's in a good defensive spot. It's just how sustainable is that if the other team captures the objective? And coming from a Bravo Company perspective, Bus, Valor, and Elite, all veterans of Arma Three very known each other again for a long time they worked worked together uh, back in the old unit and, and now here in bravo company uh very skilled players uh it's just a question of whether they'll be able to root out uh trupa from his pretty good defensive position yeah but defensive you know when you are when you're the sort of the small team and, and you're gonna lose the the, the capping point not always a good thing well it isn't a good thing that is true. It might lose in the game so very he needs true. to we really need, you know, I'm, I'm willing him to make a move now. I mean, come on, Taropa, if you can... Yeah, there you go, 10 minutes left. Hopefully, hopefully that sign will give him give him maybe a push. Maybe that push is what he's going to need. I mean, both teams are kind of sitting still now. As the match but, wind down, they know that there's not much left for them to fight. And whoever's going to okay, get a drop go. in the other person might have the advantage. Got a movement here from Greenfall pushing in. They're trying to find them. Okay, so now I don't want Tropa to move. Yeah, now Trump I want Tropa to stay exactly out. where he is. Yeah. They're getting closer to each other. Elite's deciding to enter the building. Oh, or that's boss entering the uh, two-story. Oh, man. This is going to be a good engagement. Tropa's got to see him. No, he doesn't see him. Oh, dear. He doesn't have sight lines on that. If he, if Bus decides no, to he move the door... I mean, we can't discount. I'm going to go back to Bus is the moving. normal view. It is dark outside. Here we go. Bus is getting ready to peek that doorway. And he's doing that. But, I mean, Trouble's, you know, he's hid behind some grass. With that outfit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know gonna how visible he's going to be when yeah. it's this dark, you know. Oh, he's moving. Got this might be Trump the chance Bus needs. He's pushing in. Bus stationary. Trump's into... Oh, my goodness, oh, watch. Is... Look, look out in the main road there. Elite's down on the main road. If he decides to peek here. it, he might be able to get it. It's a game of cat and mouse right now. As both <laughs> units, so once again, are within just a few feet of each other. If Bus decides to swing around into that garage, I think that's going to be game. I think it's going to be GG, yeah. It's a matter of if now, ladies and gentlemen. A matter of if. As Valar and the compound again within a few meters. Very tense. Going into the 37th really, and a half tense. minute. As of the forces. three independent forces swarming around the last Blue Force soldier, LG Brigadier General Tupa. Come on, Toropes. Toropes. Butchered yeah, that. Toropa. That's okay. Toropa. 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 <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. I think Sarah made, made the same mistake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> alright. That's okay. Really? We got a Valier on our team. Okay, okay, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Tripe is pushing into the same building as Bus now. Low floor. If he decides to go up to the second floor, oh, this no. is going to be the end of Bus. Don't go up there, Tripe. Don't go up there, Tripe. I, I think he's. Oh no, he's Bus is watching the stairs. He knows. He yeah, hears knows. something. Look at this. If he pushes down the stairs, though, he's going to get the drop as well. I think. Oh! Oh, here we go. Deciding right here. And then it comes down oh, to Bus so to winning the match. Taking out Taropa. I did it. For the Blue 4 victory. What a match, Reasoner. Thank you for commentating with me once again.
I'm Mike One, you're awesome, and this was Friday Night Fights, Episode 5.